Hello, I'm Rene Esquivel, and you're tuning into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. In this one, you'll see me upgrade my 2019 MacBook Pro Intel to Ventura, and then have me validate the critical aspects that I needed uh, this Intel-based uh, uh, Mac laptop to work flawlessly. And it has. The Ventura worked flawlessly. So I'm very pleased with it. But let's get right into it. And you get to see uh, firsthand, okay? Now, given that this is the last of the MacBook Pros Intel base that officially support Ventura, I wanted to make sure that the release was stable and that I have a backup. And you can see it was successful. So with this, I'm able to proceed to the uh, upgrade. Um, that's as simple as it ever is. You just click on the Upgrade Now button. Um, and, uh, you know, accept any defaults that it asks. Uh, end to end, it took about 50 minutes. The time estimates that it gave me for uh, installing it uh, all ended up finishing up faster than what was indicated there. So plan on being done under an hour if you also have a, a 2019 MacBook Pro. Okay. Um, and I'll be... Uh, I've edited this so you'll see it complete in a relatively short period of time. And uh, we're at the point of uh, it being done now. It's simply counting down to the reboot. It looked like it restarted about six times um, when from the first re uh, restart. Now, at this point, you get to see the MacBook Pro. It's now on running Ventura. As you can see, uh, pull up there, Ventura 13.0.1. And so far, everything is looking good. Um, I had about 60 gigabytes prior to the upgrade and I had nearly 66 afterwards, so must have cleared out cache files and other things that were cluttering up the disk. There was one update that needed to install, um, and that was for the pro video formats, and that did not require any kind of reboot. Okay. Okay, that's done now. Um, after this, uh, you'll see me jump into testing Safari and the App Manager. Well, enabling stage manager. I really like the stage manager. I've gotten used to it on the Mac Mini M1, and so I was eager to test that out here. You do see that I'm running Activity Monitor. I want to make sure that it's not killing my system because uh, initially with version 13.0.0 of uh, Ventura, uh, stage manager w was causing some systems to slow down in my Mac Mini M1 initially. Uh, was sluggish with stage manager and even beach balled on video editing, which it had never done prior. Okay. Um, turn on stage manager and uh, no immediate impact or a small impact on resources, but not very much. You can see most of the CPU is idling. And uh, now, Safari, I just want to go ahead and uh, go into uh, apple.com and just scroll through. I just want to see it browse through something nice, you know, go through smoothly. And then after that, I'll launch the App Store. As it turns out, there weren't any updates to the apps. Um, in contrast with the Mac Mini M1, after I updated that, a lot of the apps were updated. Uh, in the App Store afterwards, but here on the Intel side, none were. None at all. Okay. And 
and you can see there are no updates there in the App Store. And again, uh, I just want to see things launch. I want to see things, you know, smooth. Those are critical things. And now the biggest one here is uh, a Parallels Desktop. I have a native Windows partition installed through Boot Camp. Sadly, things that are not part of the silicone architecture. But on the uh, Intel side, this is critical. I get maybe one or two clients a year that want me to have Mac. Everybody else wants Windows and, and nine times out of 10, they specify no Mac, no Apple. Well, I they don't know that I'm running a MacBook because I'm using Windows natively. No no qualms about how whether it's gonna be compatible for the apps because it's they're running native. They're it's Windows. Okay, but I need to make sure this works no issues i don't want to see any blue screen or death any slowness either and so far everything's going good logging in okay and i don't see anything out of the ordinary so far and how quickly it boots up how quickly the desktop loads um so uh, let's see here i think i'm gonna go first yeah launch into edge and uh do a quick internet browse there. Again, I just want to see uh, this working well. I don't want to see any hiccups. I guess there's some startup apps that still are going. Okay, um, are we going to the same Microsoft uh, Apple, I should say, uh, website? Okay, and so I'm just going to browse through the same page you saw me do earlier in Safari. Again, just want to see everything working smooth as I'm doing a validation here. Um, I would absolutely roll back the update if Parallels Desktop uh, had crashed. Uh, but I actually verified prior to this that it was compatible. But websites say one thing in, in practice. The only thing that matters is what happens when you actually install it and do the upgrade. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to test the continuity camera in Windows, uh, as you were on, on the Mac side. I'm very excited about this. I love this feature. And, uh, oh, I love that sound. And you see it working flawlessly, flawlessly. Look at that, turning the camera. Wireless webcam with the iPhone 4K. It's vastly superior to the those 720p uh, webcams. Now, uh, let's get into the Windows updates. Um, what's important about this is if there's any problem with uh, des uh, Parallels Desktop, you'll see it with the updates. They won't load, they won't install, or maybe you then have to boot up natively into Windows to do it. I wanna see it working under Parallels. And in particular, uh, the Windows 10 22H2 update. Uh, so I can bring up my Windows 10 current uh, for all updates. And you see all of them downloading nicely. Um, forwarding, they all succeeded. And the last one is the big one, the 22H2. Not necessarily biggest in size, but in terms of being critical. And it's marching through that pretty quick, but I will edit and I did edit this so that you know we, we just kind of jump to the end there okay uh, and that that went well now this I did not expect that the continuity camera would work under Windows as well I fire up the, the app initially you'll see the um, uh, the, the built-in 720p webcam it's Probably about as good an image as you can get with that. Um, and now I'll do the rear facing camera, which is the, ends up being the iPhone. And there it is. There it is. Voila. Now, you know, <laughs> how cool is this? How many times I have needed this function? 
uh, in a WebEx or a Skype. And now I can do it, you know, without having to have two sessions, one on the phone and one on my laptop. Um, bravo, this is good. What more can I say? Ventura on the 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch model with touch bar works fantastic. No complaints from me. Uh, performance wise, it's smooth and steady. It's everything I would have expected it to do. And so I'm very pleased. Uh, hope this helped you. Post any questions you have and please give me the like and subscribe. Bye bye.